Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Tuesday, 18 April from Milan. We're sponsored by MaxLight, offering energy efficient lighting solutions since 1993. Here are the stories making news. Salon Del Mobile is a major event for the furnishing, design, and lighting industry. Euro Luce is back with four pavilions. This year's theme is the City of Lights, thus the layout of the exhibition is inspired by street plans of Italian towns. Many exhibits are in permanent and temporary showrooms. You may be interested in where we were yesterday. It was the most bizarre venue I've ever attended. Today we will launch our newest platform, Designing Lighting Global. It's been six months in the works and we're very proud of it. Ray Maloney from London is our editor. Remember, Designing Lighting for North America, Designing Lighting Global features lighting designs from around the world. Shirley Coyle analyzed the latest Smart Global Holdings quarter two results where the company reported a record non-GAAP gross margin of 28.9% on $429 million in revenue. She also looked at Dial Light's 2022 results. The lighting division grew 34%, but gross margins declined. Meta Room by Amrex and Relux AG have announced a strategic partnership that allows users to integrate 3D scan data directly into the Relux lighting planning software. DLFNY and La Observatoire International will host a walking tour and lighting design presentation of the tin building on 25 April. We wrote about that in February. Adura LED Solutions released a new line of universal linear LED modules, which include 20 replacement options for universal Douglas type modules. Dow was up 100 points yesterday, NASDAQ was up 34 points, and LSI Industries gained 46 cents. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day. Pray for peace.